All right, Kyle, looks like we're ready to uh, put these uh, trick flow heads on our short block, but why don't you tell me a little bit about what we're looking at here? I see they're CNC aluminum pieces, but uh, what are some of the specs on these? Yeah, so these are their uh, trick flow, the uh, Cathedral Port. Okay. So we got here, LS3, and uh, they are 205cc on the intake runner chamber, and then uh, it's a 58cc uh, chamber volume. Okay. And uh, yeah, these will be really nice for this particular application, you know, give you a nice, good torque, um, you know, good idle, it'll hold there, and uh, for this cam profile that we're running to, this is a nice setup. Now, what size are these valves? So the uh, intake is a uh, two inch, and okay. the exhaust is a uh, inch nine, uh, inch 590. Inch 590, okay, that's pretty standard LS spec, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. First, we'll get the uh, head gasket here. And this is a, just a GM factory LS7 MLS gasket. It is a MLS gasket? Yes, yeah. And uh, as you see, they're always labeled front, and then the rear isn't gonna be labeled, but it's front on both sides. Just flip it. So you can just, yeah, it's, yeah, you have to just flip it on that side. Okay. So when we're putting this in, you wanna make sure this surface is nice and clean, no oil or anything. And you're just setting it down in there, just like that. So it's resting on the dowels. Take one of our heads. And we're just setting it in. These are the uh, ARP um, head bolt kits. Okay. So uh, yeah, a lot more tensile strength than a factory bolt. And, and head bolts as opposed to studs, not really necessary in this application. Yeah, for this particular application, I wouldn't bother running studs. Um, we're not having high cylinder pressures, anything like that, where we right. have to be concerned about floating the head. And now for most aftermarket LS heads like this, um, there is no directional one. Like this doesn't have to go on this bank. It okay. can be reversed either way. Um, the one time where it matters is these little steam ports here. Mm -hmm. That's where you know the coolant will flow through, but they're, you're calling them steam ports here. Um, sometimes one of these will have a block off on it. Right. And it won't be open like this is. If it had a block off on it already, you would have to put that in the rear put of the engine. that in the rear, yeah. gotcha. Like most of the parts on this engine, we're gonna incrementally bring it up to torque. So we're gonna start at 25 foot-pounds right now. And when you're doing this, you wanna start in the middle bolts and work your way outwards. So we'll start in this middle one, then this one, and work our way till we get to the outside edges. So now that they're all torqued to 25, we're gonna take it up. We're gonna take it to 50. Now we'll go to our final torque of 75 foot-pounds. We know everything's torqued, so we're just gonna start.